While it would seem that persistency would see the fruition of its goals come to completion, in the case of the hashtag release the Snyder Cut movement, we're actually against all odds as far as I was concerned, and very surprising to me, we're going to get a chance to see the Snyder Cut of Justice League. That's right, we're going to get a chance to see our boy Soups without that horrible, terrible, very bad, no good CGI top lip to cover up the mustache he was forced to grow to play the villain alongside Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible. I'm pretty stoked about that in general, because our boy Henry was done real dirty by that fake top lip. He was a laughing stock, and he laughed along with it like a good sport, but you know he probably didn't like that. I mean, nobody liked that. It looked terrible. It looked horrible. And that's what they opened up the movie with, with the cell phone footage. They opened up the movie with literally the worst footage of the entire movie. There can be no doubt that the hashtag release the Snyder Cut has been absolutely everywhere for a long, long time. What started as a grassroots movement gained so much momentum. You couldn't go to any form of social media that dealt with comic books on any level and not see somebody supporting hashtag release the Snyder Cut. Heck, even Gal Gadot, Jason Momoa, and Ben Affleck all supported the hashtag release the Snyder Cut movement. I'm, I'm amazed. I didn't think it was going to happen because Warner Brothers had been digging their heels in. They were holding on to that property and they were going to cock block the fans what seemed like forever. But but here we are and HBO Max 2021, we're going to see the Snyder Cut finally released. And whether you are a fan of Zack Snyder's version of the DC Universe or not, you can't argue with the idea that it is definitely going to be interesting to see Zack Snyder's version of the DC Universe finally come to its end. It, you know, come to fruition, come full circle. Because to tonally, Josh Whedon's version of Justice League does not match with Man of Steel or Batman v Superman, uh, the Ultimate Edition, might I add, not the theatrical. Let's look at this article, the one that alerted me to such news. It's from The Nerdist, and it reads as follows. The article was written by Michael Walsh. Snyder Cut of Justice League coming to HBO Max. We can't believe it, but this is actually going to happen. HBO Max will release the infamous Snyder Cut of Justice League in 2021. The director first announced the bombshell online to fans at the end of a Man of Steel rewatch. I want to thank HBO Max and Warner Brothers for this brave gesture of supporting artists and allowing their true visions to be realized. Also, a special thank you to all those involved in the Snyder Cut movement for making this a reality, said Snyder in a press release, which will be a major undertaking. THR says the alternate slash original version could come with an additional price tag of 20 to $30 million. Also, it could take shape as a single four-hour director's cut or in six chapters. Either format means a whole lot of the Snyder Cut. Snyder has reportedly already begun reassembling the film's original post-production crew. They will score, cut, add new, and finish old visual effects that were never completed for his version. The movie's stars could also be brought in to record new dialogue, all of which seems insane since few ever thought this would happen, Snyder himself included. For years, a small group of very loyal, very loud fans have been demanding that Warner Brothers release the Snyder Cut of Justice League. It's the version of the 2017 movie that seemingly didn't even exist. Zack Snyder filmed the script he and Chris Torrio wrote before Snyder had to leave the movie for personal reasons. Josh Whedon then came in to finish the film, which involved major reshoots and changes. The result was a hodgepodge of a story that varied between Snyder's darker DCEU entries and the more lighthearted take Whedon added to the film. Changes went beyond just the movie's tone, though. Whedon also altered the film's aesthetic. Trailers released before Snyder left have a different color palette than what ended up in the final version. Also, some scenes included in Snyder-era promos were completely absent from Whedon's movie. But a push for the Snyder version never stopped. A hardcore group of fans continuously championed their strange cause. That's not so strange. That's not a strange cause. It makes sense that people would want to see it. After watching Josh Whedon's version of Justice League, I... I 
even I knew it didn't match, but some people were so, so let down that of course they wanted to see the real version. And yeah, Warner Brothers done did Zack Snyder dirty. I mean, he stepped down because unfortunately he had a death in the family, but come on. We all know that Warner Brothers couldn't wait to kick his ass out the door. And last year, the film's stars promoted the hashtag release the Snyder Cut hashtag. Even if Snyder shot his full script, Warner Brothers seemingly did not add in the necessary special effects his version would have required to be complete. Why now then? Warner Media Entertainment and direct-to-consumer chairman Robert Greenbelt credited persistent fan demand. Since I got here, 14 months ago, the chant to hashtag release the Snyder Cut has been a daily drumbeat in our offices and inboxes. Well, the fans have asked, and we are thrilled to finally deliver. At the end of the day, it really is all about them, and we are beyond excited to be able to release Zack's ultimate vision for his film in 2021. And that really is what this is all about. This is why I'm excited about it. Because it'll be coherent. His vision that was began will be completed. Doesn't that just make sense that you would want things to be coherent, at least together? This never could have happened if it weren't for the hard work and combined effort of the teams at HBO Max and Warner Brothers Pictures, he said. And then he goes on, what he omitted though was another possibility. This month, HBO Max is launching in an already crowded streaming market. By finalizing and releasing the film on the site, it can ensure Snyder fans will subscribe. They've had money for public displays demanding the film come out. They clearly have some disposable income to actually see it, so ultimately... It's the same reason Warner Brothers was reluctant to release a second version of the movie that did poorly at the box office. Money. It didn't make the financial sense to release the Snyder Cut before. It does now. And I think that there is some truth to that. Warner Brothers does stand to make more money because of releasing this, because the movement is so big. I mean, l listen, I don't have HBO Max currently. And if I didn't have it at the time of the Snyder Cut being released, I would have it on the day the Snyder Cut was released. I would buy a, a subscription just to watch the Snyder Cut, and then likely I would just keep it because I'd see other cool stuff on it. They would reel me in with the Justice League Snyder Cut. It, I think that a lot of people are going to buy HBO Max just to see it. Some people out of curiosity, some because they've supported the hashtag the whole time. HBO knows they're going to be rolling in the money if they release this. And, and really, they can say it's all about the fans, and I'm sure that maybe that's possible. But it always comes down to money, right? It's all about dollars. If they think they can make money off something or milk it or wring it out and get some money out of it and make a profit, then they're going to do it. But I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Are you excited to see this? Were you a hashtag release the Snyder Cut supporter? Did you hashtag that out yourself on Twitter and on Instagram? Or are you just like, no, don't release the Snyder Cut. His world was too dark and gritty. And it, or do you just not care at all? Are you indifferent? Are you just like, I watched Josh Whedon's cut. I'll watch Zach's cut. I'll probably like them both the same. It doesn't even matter to me. As I said, personally, I'm really, really excited to see it. Even though I did enjoy Josh's cut, it didn't really match. I'm happy to see how this whole thing is going to end. And I want to see things completed from their original vision standpoint. But that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Have a DC day, everybody. And take care.